For his mercy endureth forever means his mercy of yesterday does not expire in our life. There is a renewal of the subscription. The same way you renew your GoTV and your DSTV. The same way you renew your prepared meter subscription. That is the same way mercies are renewed upon a believer on a new day. And the second day, there's a new dose of mercy. Another day, new mercy. His mercy endures forever. And go back to verse 22. And when they began, not after, as they began to sing, look at the forces that went into action. And to praise, the Lord said, ambushment, open. The, the Moabites are coming this way. He made the other nation to come behind them and to begin to kill them. I, I thought we are together. That is the person we want to fight. No. Something is wrong with you. I'm fighting you now. They change their mind. Your enemies will change their mind quickly. Yeah. And that change that change your mind will hurt them. Yeah. This the Lord set ambushment against the children of Ammon, Moab and Mosia, which were come against Judah. And they were what? Smitten. The Lord smote them. You know what it means to smite? The Lord beat them down to their faces. When songs of deliverance are occasioned by the Spirit, the Lord takes over the battle and he, and he wins the battle and gives you the spoils of the battle. Let's see the next part. That's what you're doing. For the children of Hamon and Moab stood up against the inhabitant of Monsia, utterly to slay and destroy them. And when they had made an end of the inhabitants of Seir, everyone helped one another to destroy one another. What is going on here? Souls of the deliverance. Say in the name of Jesus, I receive my own souls of deliverance. For a mother who has been crying over her baby, over her son, that has been lost, almost lost to addiction, the Lord can give you a soul of deliverance. All of a sudden, we just give you the, the, the song of deliverance in the night season, and you are singing. And before you know, we say, Go and anoint that boy now. One that's anointing, go and anoint that boy. And as you are anointing him, the power of addiction breaks. All of a sudden, the same time we see marijuana, he say, No, not me again. The same time we see crap, not me again. The same time we see uh, loud, he say, Not me again. I have gone beyond this level. If the Lord has set me free, I am free. It begins with songs of deliverance. Number two case study because of my time. Act 16. Paul and Silas in prison in Caesarea Philippi. Act 16, verse 24. Shepherd in the power of so far. Keep on in a papa civility to the poor. Act 16, 24. This was a clear example of singing praises to God in the midst of our hardship. In the midst of our woes, in the midst of our challenges. The Bible says, Acts 16, 24, Amen. Talking about the jailer having received such time, laid stripes upon their backs and put and fastened their feet in stocks. Who having received such a child, thrust them into the inner prison and made their feet fast in the stocks. Verse 25 now. Look at the change. Look at the change in reality. Verse 25. And at midnight. The time when people were snoring, Paul and Silas prayed. And after praying, they switch. I love any prayer you pray that always switches to praise. If you pray and you will be in Jesus' name and you are looking for where to lay your pillow, that means to lay your head, your pillow. Sometimes you have not prayed. Let your prayer always lead to worship. Let your prayer always end in praise. The example is here. And sang. God. Ah, it was not a quiet one. No. The prisoners heard them. Everyone that heard them praise God all also got deliverance alongside with them. Give me the next part. Verse 26. And suddenly there was a great earthquake. So that the foundations of the prison were shaken. And immediately all the doors were open. Oh. And everyone's bands were loosed. Verse 27. And the keeper of the prison, the jailer, 
and waking out of his sleep and seeing the prison doors open, he drew out Saul. He was going to commit suicide because that means I better kill myself. These guys have escaped. He never knew they were still hanging around. This okay, this deliverance was not occasioned by the flesh. It was occasioned by the spirit of God. He would have killed himself, supposing that the prisoners had been fled at the stage. Next verse, 28. And Paul cried out with a loud voice, saying, Do that said no harm, for we are holy. Songs of deliverance, when we are passing through what we are passing through, make us to come out on the other side. Not just only us, the people around us. And now making us an instrument a woman who has been trusting God for seven years. All you need to do from God, to receive from God, is a song of deliverance to keep you going in that season of waiting. Because a time is going to come that you are going to have your son. You are going to have your, your Rebecca. You are going to have your Isaac. You are going to have many children. And you are going, not just having children, but you are going to help all that women to know the way to go. This is how to receive songs of deliverance. When I was waiting upon the Lord, this was what he did to me. Paul and Silas brought salvation to the family of the jailer. If you read further, the jailer and his family were baptized that same night and they were saved. And the following morning, Paul and Silas were set free. Nothing shall hold you back anymore. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. As I begin to close, songs of deliverance end up bringing down the deliverance of God in our real time situations and bringing glory to God. What is the application? Application this one is that songs of deliverance are those songs that the Holy Ghost Himself will quicken in your consciousness, in your spirit man, and you will receive them again in your consciousness, your mind. They will be put in your spirit and translated to your mind. You will remember them. You will sing. How many of you have this as this event happened to you before? You were in a dream, fighting, and you were singing or praying. All of a sudden, you woke up and you still remember that song. It's a song. It's not ordinary song. Don't trivialize or trash that song by waking up and still having that song in your consciousness. It means God wants to do something. Keep singing that song. Sing it. Sing it. Sing it again because the Lord wants to do something with that song. You have been trusting God for provision. You have prayed, you have fasted, you have given. Nothing has happened. All of a sudden, the Lord drops a song. Sing that song. Drag that song. Sing that song. Make that song drag in your spirit until you receive your answers. That is how God operates most of the times. Sometimes you want to box God to a corner. When I call on him, he will answer. But sometimes he answers with songs of the people. By encompassing you with songs of deliverance. So that when you turn to the left part of your bed, another soul will ring. And that is why it is good to always maintain an atmosphere of worship and praise around you. You are driving in your car, in your car stereo, worship is playing. On your phone, worship is playing. You are waiting upon the Lord, fasting and praying. You are not just watching TV, you are not just watching movies. As you are waiting upon the Lord, as you are praying and meditating, worship in the background, all of a sudden, the voice of the Lord will come upon many waters, Psalm 29. Many waters of worship, many waters of meditations, many waters of fasting and prayer. The voice of the Lord is easily accessible upon the waters. Job 35 verse 10 again. It is the Spirit of God that brings the songs in our hearts. He brings the Spirit. He's bringing the songs in our heart. However, somebody is asking, Pastor, what will I need to do? What do I need to do for the Spirit of God to bring these songs in my heart? It must be in alignment. Say alignment. Alignment. Alignment means there must be a parity. There must be a relationship there must be a cohesion between you and the spirit of God. I often tell people, as a sister trusting God for who to marry, if that is when you want to hear the voice of God, you will make mistakes. You must have been hearing his voice in the simple matters. Go to work, don't pass that road, don't take that by as trivial as those matters are, he's speaking to you. 
Not when now Brother James and Brother John and Brother Peter, three of them, powerful brothers in your church, are before you. Lord, who is the person among this day? Chances are that your flesh will speak because you know Brother John works with Chevron. Brother James is a teacher. Amen. He wants public school. Pardon me. And Brother Peter works as an attendant in Sweet Sensation. Who will your mind be? Chevron now. Chevron. Not the chef. Chevron. Chevron. However, the plan of God may be for the one in Sweet Sensation. Because you're coming into his life may be the reason for the promotion. And everything changes. But if you are not familiar and acquainted with the voice of the Spirit, you will go after the flesh. Praise the name of God. Lift your and say, Father, help me to be in alignment with your Spirit. Always in the name of Jesus. Help me to be in alignment with your Spirit. In the name of Jesus, Christ. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Say, Father, I position myself for souls of deliverance. Always, on a daily basis, let them come to me. Like David, surround me with songs of deliverance. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Rabbi, I suffer the hands of our Lord. Rise to your feet. Rise to your feet. Do you know why it is so easy? Do you know why it is so easy for Samuel and the sons of the prophet in the campus to hear the voice of God? I told you last week, Samuel and the sons of the prophet had a lifestyle, a nine years of, of Rama, they were always worship. They pass time by worshiping. They, their, own, their own time of leisure is just to worship, is to just blast the tongues. All of a sudden, they build a Wi Fi, a bandwidth of the presence of the Holy Ghost around themselves. It's easier for the voice of God to be upon the water than I just told you. Can you lift your hands and just worship Him? From the depth of your being. From the depth of your being. Worship him. Worship him. Kill a man no so fratish. So so fratty and so so fratty. See the fratty. Pick up your song in your soul, in your spirit, man. Pick up your song in your soul. 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 Sapatajeshabadiya, <laughs> <laughs> 